the centrifugal forces at, at 30,000 RPM are immense, um, but they're very accurate. The inserts stay very stable, allowing for um, massive material re removal rates. Welcome to another Technical Corner today. I'm being joined by Mark Ross um, from Mitsubishi Materials. Um, and we're talking about quite a broad topic, aren't we, Mark? It, it, we yeah, it's, it's index for milling from Mitsubishi Materials. And you brought a really nice range to go through, and we'll look at that a little bit later. But first of all, why would someone pick an index for milling tool? Okay, so there's a wide range um, that customers can choose um, from face mills, shoulder mills, screw-in type uh, end mills as well. Um, the beauty is the cost effectiveness can be um, inserts are a much smaller uh, outlay for a customer than a solid carbide end mill. So the initial outlay can be quite expensive and you know, quite daunting. But once it's been purchased um, with the insert range that we've got with the different grades, different corner ADI, uh, they can cover a wide range of applications. Yeah, absolutely. And once you've programmed a, a part with the index for mill, you can then benefit from better grades that come out later, just swap out those inserts. Whereas yeah, with a solid sure. carbide end mill, Got to throw it away if, it, if the insert goes. Yeah, that's right. I mean, a solid carbide can be regrained, but you'll lose size. Um, with these tools, the inserts, I say, they're replaceable. Uh, you have multi edges as well, so it's not just one cutting edge. A lot of our inserts now are, you know, up to six edges. Um, so it offers, you know, great cost per edge benefit to the customer. Yeah, and you don't have to reset. Sometimes if you're doing a roughing operation, you wouldn't have to even reset the Z and the X at all if you change the insert. No, that's sure. That's, that's dead right, yeah. A lot of these uh, tools now are really accurately made. Um, so the seating of the inserts and the precision grinding um, of some of these inserts mean you certainly don't have to do them. And some of these tools are also good for finishing applications as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you benefit from all the Mitsubishi carbide um, research. You benefit from good ground inserts or suppressed inserts, um, repeatability. Um, but one thing I also like as well is there's little design choices that you don't often see in a lot of manufacturers to try and make it even more cost effective to, yes, you have to buy the, the tool, the arbor, the base, but once you've, you've got that, these things will event eventually just pay for themselves every time you buy another insert. Yeah, of course, they, yeah, they will, they will. Um, they're also quite um, um, application specific as well. Um, for example, the, the AXD 4000 range is specifically aimed at really high powered machines, um, used a lot in the aerospace industry for roughing out big lumps of aluminium that can weigh you know, upwards of a tonne to start and can be lifted off at 20 kilos when they're finished. So the efficiency um, that these tools can run at is, is unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. They're so sharp, I almost cut myself, well, I did cut myself in my hand, I had to wipe down the bench afterwards. Um, so yeah, the AXD um, is really high productivity and um, there's a really high uh, surface speed it can run at. For sure, yeah. Um, the AXD 4000 can run up to 5,000 meters surface speed, which on a 50 mil tool is you know, sort of 32, 33,000 RPM. Um, and the design and technology that's gone into the tool to allow it to run that fast. Um, Mitsubishi has a, an anti-fly mechanism uh, in the cutter body, which stops the insert being displaced because obviously the centrifugal forces at, at 30,000 RPM are immense, um, but they're very accurate. The inserts stay very stable, allowing for um, massive material re removal rates. Absolutely, it's not just um, big aluminium roughing that you can support in indexable tools as well. You've got lots of different other options. What, what's next on the table? Sure, so we've got a, a big 90 degree face mill there, the, the uh, WWX. Um, I was talking earlier about the accuracy of the inserts and the, and the tool. Well, that's one such example. Um, the precision that those inserts can be located. Um, they're a double-sided insert as well, um, but the technology that's gone into the, the manufacture of the body and the um, pressing of the insert allows it to offer a true 90 degree uh, cutting, cutting edge. And what else has it, have you got on the table? Okay, um, so we've got a, a 90 degree cutter there. Uh, it's the WWX range. Um, so I was talking earlier about the high accuracy that the pockets are machined at and the inserts um, are molded or ground. Well, that's one such tool. It offers really high precision 90 degree corner accuracy. So it can be used for a finishing operation as well as a roughing operation. Absolutely. So people might think when they're buying the arbor, it's just a piece of dumb piece of metal that takes the important bits, the inserts. But actually, there's a hell of a lot of engineering gone into both so that they interface uh, in, a, in, a, in a really nice engineering fashion. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's some very trick um, skill gone into the seating, how the insert is located. 
Um, that insert is located in sort of three specific ways. It has a conical seat underneath as well, which allows the insert to be double-sided and have six usable edges. So it, as you say, it's not just a dumb bit of metal. There is a massive amount of engineering work that goes into the um, production of it. Absolutely. And you don't often see a six-sided uh, set of in inserts on a face mill or a shoulder mill just like this. So no, that's right. It's yeah. nice to see a bit more cost-effectiveness as well. And that seems to be the way that sort of... Um, the market's going now. We also have the, the high feed and the WJX, which again is a double-sided um, trigon insert. So six cutting edges, um, very thick carbide. This one though offers rigidity. The insert is very sharp as well, uh, which offers good stability at, at high feed on, on your steels. Absolutely. So you can see it's interesting. It's like a 3D insert that actually has, it's positive, but it's double-sided, which you don't often see that sharp edge and also you get six, six edges on it as well. That's right, yeah. I mean, it's the strength of the insert that is, um, it's very strong, but offers a light cutting edge as well. The resistance is, is minimal because of the way the insert has been formed. Absolutely, and there's a high feed cutter here in the long type as well, long Yeah, type for sure, barber. yeah. So, you know, we, the, um, with Mitsubishi, we offer, you know, from a, from a shell mill type to extra long for modern die type applications, uh, screw in as well. So the complete range is covered. So the, the tangentially mounted VPX range, um, it's a very tough um, milling range. We've got it in a small 200 type series. The 300 is slightly larger. Um, again, comes in a, uh, the complete raft uh, of Mitsubishi grades um, for your aluminiums up to your super alloys. Corner radius is again covered from 0.2 up to 3.2 mil diameter. Um, which is quite big for a, for a tangentially mounted insert. So if someone wants to try out the indexable solutions from Mitsubishi Materials, how can they try it? Yeah, for sure. If they, uh, customers uh, make contact with our sales force, uh, we're more than happy to visit customers, uh, look at their uh, current situation, offer our best solution where we believe we can show them a cost saving and prove it to them. Mm -hmm.